genetic information is stored in chromosomes, thread-like structures found within each cell nucleus. Most people have 23 pairs of chromosomes, 46 chromosomes in total. Karyotyping is a technique where all of the chromosomes of a patient are analysed to determine whether any variations are present. In general, there are two types of changes that are detected by karyotyping. The first are numerical, where there is a change in the number of chromosomes or parts of chromosomes. The second are structural, where there is a difference in the arrangement of the genetic material in these chromosomes, so that the order or structure of the chromosome is changed. Karyotyping can be a useful test for couples who have had difficulty getting pregnant or who have had multiple early pregnancy losses. As an example, a patient may have what is known as a balanced translocation. This is a structural change that often has no impact on the patient themselves, but can lead to differences in the genetic material or the number of chromosomes in a developing fetus. Karyotyping is performed on a standard blood collection taken at a pathology collection centre. This sample is then transported to our genetic testing laboratory and the cells within the sample are cultured to stimulate cell division. The chromosomes are then isolated from the nucleus of these cells, spread on a glass slide and treated using a specialised staining method. The chromosomes are then imaged using a microscope and analysed by specialised cytogenetic scientists to determine whether any changes are present. These results are explained in a concise report that is sent to your doctor that describes whether any numerical or structural changes were present and the impacts of these. Further information on carrier typing is available on the DHM website. Our experienced team of specialist genetic pathologists and senior scientists is always available for clinical inquiries. Mm -hmm.